Aloha everyone, it's Cone Raven and I'm so excited to share a brand new mini album with you. Uh, it is an eight and a quarter by six and three eighths mini album and I used C5 envelopes which are nine inches by six and three eighths but I cut them down to eight and a quarter because I think eight and a quarter is a perfect size when you're using A4 cardstock. The paper collection that I used to embellish is by Authentique and uh, it's called Suave, and I thought it was the perfect paper collection uh, for a um, kind of masculine uh, mini album, which is what I needed to create for this particular one. So let's take a look at the mini album. On the front here, I have a photo mat with layered paper, and you could just stick a photo and it's matted perfectly on the blues and greens. Um, I pop dotted uh, the hat for this little guy here. And here is a token and it says unique on it. The spine is four inches wide. It is quite a large mini album. Uh, I used a book plate here and there's a chit chat sticker in the center there that says remember. And then that's the back of the album. The closure that I used for this is a Tim Holtz buckle, and the way I did the strap part of it was I doubled up the ribbon, and then I punched holes into it, and then I put eyelets through it, and it's perfect for holding on to, um, to the buckle. So let's take a look on the inside. The first page of my mini album, here's two swing tabs. So those just swing out like this, and then this opens up, and these fold down. And I have two photo mats here with the little pockets on the bottom. And then you could just slide your photos down behind it, just like that. And it's tacky down here, so you don't actually have to tape um, or adhere your photo if you don't want to. The, the tape alone should hold it in there. All right, and then this opens up like this. Here is a pocket, and that holds a nice large photo mat. And then this actually folds out this way, and you have plenty of space for photos on the interior. On the large outer pockets, I have seven by six and a half photo mats. Alright, so on page two, here's a swing tab that just swings out like that. And then this opens up for spaces for photos here. And then this is magnetic, that opens. Here is a tag pocket. This tag you could actually, it's, it's large enough to put a good size photo on it. And then if you can open this up, there's plenty of space for photos here and here. And then again, I did the uh, a small pocket up here so you could stick a photo in it like this. And then th this also opens up like this. It's magnetic so you have plenty of space for photos on the interior also. On the next page this is an on-page pocket so with a photo mat inside. Here's a swing tab that folds out and then this opens up like this and then this folds down. You have a nice uh, space for two photos here and then this folds out as does this and you have um, a space for three photos there and again I did the little pocket on the side so that you could stuff a photo down behind it and it'll stay. You could also journal on these too if you wanted to. And then on the outside is a large outer pocket photo mat. On the next page, I have uh, two split photo mats. So this opens up like this. Here is a pocket for a tag. Oh. And you could do a photo here and then journaling on the back. And then it's the same with this one here, another tag. Again, photo and maybe some journaling on the back. 
And then these two open up like this. And then this also opens up down like this. So there's plenty of space for photos within the interior of the of this page. All right, so here is um, a pouch and then I used an envelope closure. So this just winds out and on the interior of this pouch, which is actually pretty deep and wide, you can see it here, um, it's pretty wide. You could fit actually a lot of photo mats in here. I just put four uh, photo mats. And then they are of course papered on the back and the front. And then those just stuff right back in there easily. I'm breaking my cardinal rule not to put anything back. It kind of helps to keep the video short. And then um, this is magnetic, so that just pops open. You can put a photo here. This is also magnetic. That pops open. You have space for photos here and here. And then, of course, it also folds out this way. You got plenty of space for photos on the interior. And then here's another large outer pocket photo mat. On the next page, some swing tabs here. And then you could also stick a photo underneath there and then you flip it, there's space for photos here and also here. Uh, this is magnetic, you open that up. Here's a space for photos here. You can flip this back, there's a space for photo here. And then on the interior, uh, you could put a photo here and then on the interior here. I figured that this little book it, well, booklet was a good alternative than having a blank page because you could actually fit three photos on here, whereas you might not only you might only be able to fit two on this base page here. All right, on this page, I did a little matting here, and you could stick a nice small photo there. And then here's a swing tab. That opens up, you could put two photos here. Okay, and then it also opens up. You could put a photo here. I put like a little journaling spot here. And then you could do a small photo here. You could put a photo there on the interior. I have one landscape and uh, one portrait size photos, again with the little pockets on the bottom. And then here's another pocket to the side. And I just like the way it looks, you know, kind of all blended with the little waves. I did all the waves by hand, uh, which was quite easy. I just made a template, traced it out, and then cut it. And believe it or not, it's not as tedious as it seems. It was actually quite easy. And then here is another outer pocket photo mat. All right. I have an elastic band closure. So this is not a hair band. It is actually an eighth inch wide flat elastic band that um, I bought at a, uh, like a thread shop or a fabric shop here out in the UK. So I found it easier actually to use than a hair band um, because it's flat. So this is, uh, winds around here and this actually this was a brad with a nice big head on it but I popped out the center of it and then put this gear on it instead uh, because I like the way it looked so that opens up you can put a photo here here and then also here I like to coordinate the interior of the papers uh, I always think it looks aesthetically it looks really nice and then if that's not enough you have more space for photos on the interior. And then on the last page, uh, I, well, no, it's actually not the last page, sorry. Uh, here is a full page waterfall. So this is magnetic and that just comes down. You can slide a photo underneath here. I left that open. And then this just folds up. Plenty of spaces for photos. And then here is a little pocket that you can stick a photo underneath. 
I really love the way all the waves came out. I think that looks really good, but you know, that's just me. And then another large outer pocket photo mat. And the last page. I don't know what to make of this. I do like the layers of it, but I feel like I should have maybe gone all the way to the end. But anyway, I'll let you decide for yourself. So I used a ribbon closure and that just opens up. You can put a small photo here, or even journal. You have a photo on the inside here, a photo here. You have a photo here, 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 and then also you have this whole interior to put photos. So you can at least put, you know, a few photos on here and, and do some journaling. I was just experimenting. I liked the way it looked in the end, Be probably because of the waves, but again, um, I'm not, I wasn't sure whether or not I should just go all the way to the end or not, but I do like the way it turned out. So there's the back, which is nice and clean, but uh, of any type of embellishments. And that's the back. And there it is. This is my Suave Authentique envelope mini album. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I certainly have enjoyed showing it to you. Thank you so much for watching. Aloha.